stayed at a really nice little rest area here called Harriet Rest Area. And we're off to Kakadu. Approaching, Kakadu. Approaching from the south entry. Doing an anti-clockwise loop. Because we need to be in Darwin for the mechanics next week. And we're trying to meet up with some friends who are coming the other way. Yeah. So, yeah, let's go. We just got to Book Book Look Lookout, so we're going to go for a little walk. We tried to go to Yamikmik, but the roads were quite corrugated, and I think because our suspension's a little bit how you're going at the moment, we decided not to go any further and kind of turned around. It is recommended full drive in the wet season, but being the dry season, we thought we would be okay. But yeah, the corrugations were a little bit too rough for us. So we're gonna skip that part, unfortunately, but there's lots more to see. So let's go. So we just finished that short 800 meter walk and it was really cool to see some mountains in the horizon. But uh, yeah, considering our plans have been a little bit changed today, we're just gonna drive and wherever is two wheel drive accessible, we're gonna stop and have a look. So I think the next stop might be yellow water, but uh, stay tuned. Go right. We've had lunch, we've come to Yellow River. We're gonna go for a little walk along the boardwalk. A guy just walked past with a photo of a croc that was sitting on the bank, so we're gonna go check that out. I think this is a spot that a lot of people do cruises and things from. We're just gonna go take a walk along the boardwalk. Look at this green ant's nest. It's like not a typical ant's nest. I was wondering how they made these nests the other day and I saw a sign. They actually stand on top of each other and make chains out of the ants to reach up and grab the leaves and curl them over and then they just shorten the chain and then pull it together and hold it together to make the nest. And they can make the whole nest in one night, which I thought was pretty interesting and pretty cool. And they're also an Aboriginal medicine and I know they're putting them in a lot of foods and things up here as well, that they've got ice creams with green ant toppings and things like that. Some fun facts. <laughs> Ducks are getting awfully close. So much wildlife on that relatively short little walk. And now we're gonna go check out the Warajan Aboriginal Cultural Center. Well, there was no filming allowed in the cultural center, but it was really worth stopping in there. A lot of stories and culture and different artifacts and yeah, tools, spears, baskets, heaps of stories and stuff and just interesting things like when this certain plant flowers, you know, it's time to harvest the crocodile eggs or the magpie geese eggs, heaps of stuff like that where they're sort of, the Aboriginal people were really in tune with what was happening seasonally with the land and what that meant for food and different things like that. Anyway, we are now gonna go to camp. Well, this is camp for the night. Brooke is counting her pennies for the honesty box. Gonna settle in here for the night. ways can we eat the same Mexican beans? Looks bloody brilliant. You've done well. Good? Good. Mmm. Good. Mozzies. I saw something the other day and it was like, there's no way Noah put two mozzies on the ark. <laughs> it's like, you guys are coming with me. <laughs> I don't know how you just get two on there. Maybe only two survived getting there. The journey. No one talks about the animal's journey, do they? Is that another mozzie? Get it! Oh! That was just a striker. Like... Just a... 
Whoop, on the head. Dead. Oh, I think I'm dumb. I'll eat it. I know you will. And then I'll regret it. <laughs> well, I'm standing here in a towel because I was halfway through my shower. The water just stopped. So... Don't know what's going on. Don't know what's going on because now... It's working again. It's working again. We've never had that happen where you're halfway through a shower or, or the water just... The pump just was like not coming on. Oh, so it was a pump issue. Yeah, it wasn't firing up. Oh. Because there was no water at the tap either. Well, because I was... have water. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, we have water. So I was like, has one of the pipes disconnected? Like, what's going on? Pump. <gasps> Didn't that couple on Instagram have trouble with the similar pump? Yeah, that's right. Not looking good. Nah. It's all right. It's working again. Happy days. We've come to Anne Bang Bang Billabong this morning. We've got a 4K hike that we're going to do up to a lookout, and we're also going to see if we can spot some more birds. What have you got yourself there? Knockies. Binos, as the bird bird birds would say. What are you? We didn't get very far on our walk because we bumped into a tour. The guide, I think, was telling a joke about ibis, saying that we call them bin chickens. They don't have bins here, so they just call them chickens. <laughs> and then we asked if we could join the tour because a lot of the tours and stuff are free, but you're meant to book. We ended up doing an hour, an hour and a half tour. He was basically just a stand-up comedian. <laughs> it's great. Reminded me very much of Aaron Chen. That type of comedy, like, just a bit quite blunt, but yeah. Yeah, he was, you know, what was the other joke? He was, because there was a lot of buffalo and there was a buffalo poo on the track and he's saying, saying what's the difference between cattle and, and buffalo? And people were sort of making guesses and he's like, well, it's the name really. One's called buffalo, one's called <laughs> yeah. cow. Anyway, so had a snack, restarted our walk. I've had a costume change because <laughs> it was so hot when we restarted and now we're going the opposite way. But yeah, there are lots of free activities, walks, all that sort of thing. Book them online. They're included with the pass that you buy to get into the park. So we do have some booked in in the coming days. But yeah, we didn't have anything today, but definitely check that out if you're coming into the area. We're just making our way up to this lookout now and there's some pretty epic scenes happening behind us so I think it's going to be pretty nice when we get up there. It's not even lunchtime yet and I am so hungry again, borderline hangry. You were hungry at 10, 10 a.m. We had to have a snack, but now we've got to walk all the way around the dry-ish billabong before we can have some lunch and go for another walk. It makes you think of that ice cream. Billabong. billabong. Maybe that's what it's named after. We're heading off now for another little lookout walk and some rock art as well. You recovered from your midday siesta. Heat stroke. <laughs> I reckon take a shot every time I've said it's hot. Yeah. Because... It is hot. <laughs> you pretty much just need to do everything like before 10 or 11 and then pretty much just don't go any anywhere until the middle of the day five through o'clock. the middle of the day yeah yeah That was a really nice walk in the end and a lot of it in the shade. Some really cool shelters and things in there and rock overhangs. Mm. Lots of rock art as well, which we didn't film for cultural reasons. There's some signs asking us not to, so we didn't do that. So you'll have to come check the rock art out for yourself. We're now back to the van and gonna head back to camp and chill out for the rest of the afternoon. We are now ready to go to our first little activity for the morning and that is at Nangalore for a rock art tour. So the ranger guided tour at 8.30 so we've got to hit the road and then after that I think it's straight into Jabiru to check out what that has to offer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
got back from our little guided tour which was really good thanks to Johnny our tour guide highly recommend it yeah really interesting got to see some more rock art he told us a whole heap of stories also apologies if we've pronounced any of the names wrong I know we pronounced the bill wrong wrong yesterday it's Arn Bang Bang I think from what Johnny said also apparently where they filmed part of Crocodile Dundee but yeah now we're going into Jabiru gonna check that out and then head to Cahill's Crossing. We've made it to Cahill's Crossing now. It's pretty hot here. Uh, Mum, if you're watching, I've heard this is a good spot to cool off, go for a bit of a dip. Do you reckon under the water? Like as soon as they go under, you just—it's just the tip of the iceberg, right? Probably double that, triple that. That was absolutely insane. Like I kind of think we thought North Queensland and then NT would be like that, like everywhere. But yeah, you counted 27 crocs, I think, at one point when we were filming, and then afterwards you counted nearly 40. They're yeah. just the ones we could see. Absolutely, I feel like that's just like. Yeah, the tip of the iceberg, and then there's probably like hundreds underneath. So. Imagine if you dragged a net through that, like what would come up? The amount of fish and fish? crocs. They were just jumping everywhere, like, try and like trying to get across the river, which mind you, there's more crocs there, but trying to get across the river, like over the rocks, and across it was like a suicide wave. mission, you know what I mean? Like Yeah, and the crunch, like the noise when the crocs were crunching down on the fish. Not my favourite. But yeah, but don't worry mum, we were pretty safe. We only went in like waist deep, so yeah, yeah, we made sure we were safe. What about your brother? What do you reckon he thinks about this? I reckon Reese would, you'd probably love the crocs, mate. Yeah. They're pretty, pretty impressive creature and yeah, it was... Definitely an experience and the people driving across it too. Yeah, and like there was like three crocs on the causeway and they just had to like kind of stop till the croc like got off. Yeah. And then at one point one of them's like reversing <laughs> because the croc was gonna go this way and then he like came this way. And then they jumped out and grabbed a fish and chucked it in the back of the car. Yeah. And was there was a guy, we thought he was monitoring the crossing. He was just fishing, but he didn't have a fishing rod. He was just standing on the edge of the water, grabbing the, grabbing fish. the fish as they tried to swim across the causeway and just like collecting them, basically yeah. like the easiest fishing I've ever seen. But yeah, that was bad day to be a fish. That was just wild. The yep. definition of croc infested waters. Yeah. And yeah, now we're going to hang out, chill out. And then we're going to go watch the sunset. But before that, I think we're going to look at some more rock art. Yeah. Should yeah. Be a nice Arvo, nice sunset, heard good things. Could be a lookout. Here we come. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here. Come on, I'm trying to film a video. I'm not serious here. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My friend. Oh. <laughs> oh, he does not too angry with me. Lick his bum. The tour guide did say he said to lick his bum. It's quite acidic. Do it. <laughs> My brain went, mm, maybe. <laughs> it's crazy that some of this art's been here for two to five thousand years. Mm. We've just realised we don't actually know what time the sun sets and the shadows are getting pretty long. We also can't look up sunset times. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Love it. Went for a trip. <sighs> yeah, no, we have no service. Pretty crazy. There's the thylacine, or I think it's the Tassie devil up there, which is on the mainland. 
and they think they've not been on the mainland for nearly 4,000 years. So it kind of shows how old some of these paintings are. It is the next day. We spent the morning at Cahill Crossing. We were waiting for a weaving workshop that I was meant to go to, but uh, when we got there, no one else showed up. Well, there was other women there, but um, the teacher didn't show up. So yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Hopefully all is okay. Uh, but we have now made our way to Mamakala wetlands to do a little bit of birding before we head out of the national park. So hopefully we have some good bird footage for you. I wasn't really expecting there to be this much water here. Yeah. It's so dry everywhere. That was really cool we saw about 12 different species when we first walked in it didn't look like there was much happening at all actually but there was yeah once you started to look around there was actually a fair bit going on would love to have a proper wildlife lens yeah. so one day we'll get one of those would be nice yeah but yeah thanks for coming along on our kakadu journey and we'll see you in the next one eh see you next time we're heading off now for don't know if we've left it too late Well, thanks for coming along. But then, you're so crooked. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. Species? When we first... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be here for the rest of the day just trying to record this. Okay.